Pixel Normal Word Space. In this video, I'm gonna explain what it is, what it's used for, and how we can use it in our materials. So let's do it. Right click in the material graph and search for Pixel Normal WS. Two results will pop up, but they're the same. It only has one output and no settings here in the details tab. This section here adds a description to the node. All the nodes have it. We can also right click on the node and add the description from here. So let's connect it to the base color to see what we get. We'll get this colorful result. Let's turn off auto exposure to better see the colors. The result is actually the same as when we connect the vertex normal node. I've explained why we get these colors in the vertex normal video. So watch that video to better understand it. I'll put the link in the description below. Now let's add this normal texture from the starter content and connect it. You can see that when the vertex normal node is connected, it doesn't have any effect. But watch what happens when I connect the pixel normal node. Pixel normal word space outputs vector data representing the direction that pixels are facing based on the current normal. That's how it differs from the vertex normal node. So the engine draws meshes in a two-step process, the vertex shader and the pixel shader. First, the engine takes all the vertex positions and creates a triangulated mesh using those positions. Then it fills those triangles with pixels. The normal map affects the pixel shader, but the vertex normals remain unaffected. So now that we know what it outputs, let's go over some things to consider when using it. But before that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. And check out my Patreon if you are interested in supporting the channel. Pixel normal word space only works in the pixel shader and not the vertex shader. It means that if I connect it to any of the vertex shader inputs, it outputs an error. Just like the vertex normal node, we can change it to work in the local space of the object. Add a transform vector node after it. Connect them like this. In the transform vector, set the source to world space and the destination to local space. And now the effect works in the local space of the object. Let's use it to add mass on top of this quicksell rock asset. Create a new material, name it, and open it. I'll add the albedo and normal textures of the rock and this mass albedo connect the normal map to the normal input and lerp between the mass texture and the rock texture using the pixel normal as the alpha before connecting it to the alpha I'll mask its B channel and saturate it. Connect the lerp to the base color and it's done. Now the mass is added on top of the rock based on its normal map and when I rotate it, the mass stays on top. If I connect a white color instead of the rock albedo, we can better see the effect. Let's go further, add a multiply, an add node, and two parameters here. Name them transition offset and transition falloff. Set the falloff to 1. Connect them like this. And apply the material. Now I have more control over how the effect looks. We can even combine it with the vertex normal node. Mask its B channel.
and add them together. Then subtract 1 from it to bring the values in the 0 to 1 range, connect it to the saturate node and this is the result. So click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe and join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.